Ah, right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is April 13th. We got ourselves a Wednesday and 13 games on the ML MLB. Yikes, already messing up my words two seconds into the intro here. 13 games on the MLB slate tonight. Yesterday, we ended up going 2-0. We had my Boston Red Sox taking home the money line win and the ride of the day coming in from Markel. The Chicago White Sox money line guys if you do want to give me a ride in the comments use hashtag ride of the day i will be picking one person in the comments whether it's a player prop a game pick a run line anything like that i'll be picking one person in the comments to ride with and you guys get a shout out win or loss in the next video so one last shout out there and you know what we'll throw up two applause for markel there and a two and oh night big night for us bouncing back from a one and three night the night prior but two and oh last night guys hopefully we keep that momentum going here as you know as you know we're just getting our feet wet with putting out these mlb videos so it feels good to have our first and our inaugural youtube sweep on the mlb night now it is a baby sweep it's a mini sweep two and oh you know it's like it's like we had a little bit of dust on the floor and we're like yeah we'll sweep it anyways but nonetheless it is a sweep night so uh i guess shout out to us we had the red sox money line cashing it and then the ride of the day cashing we had to get the cash going there but we got plenty of games to jump into tonight as you guys know i go through each and every game i give you my lean on the game and we'll go through each game i know the uh the first seven games here are on the graphic as of right now then we'll pump it to the uh pump it then we'll switch it to the uh latter six games but we go through each and every game i give you my lean on the game i give you what i'm thinking but my final plays will be in the pinned comments so make sure you guys check that out we're also gonna have the discord link in there as well uh the new merch the fade me collection if you guys want to pick it up we got a bunch of different designs there the fade me collection i'll put that link in the pinned comment as well and we'll talk about becoming a baller becoming a member of the channel later on in the show but let's jump right into it guys i hear the feedback you guys appreciated yesterday's video where we kind of th blew through these games 13 games i get it it's a lot so uh we don't need to spend too too much time on here i'll give you guys my lean um and we'll get out of town here but we got the braves minus 200 here at home against the nationals total of nine these two teams playing yesterday atlanta catching a bad um or uh, washington excuse me catching a bad l here four to 16 these two teams now have played two games in the last two days prior to tonight and the total has gone over each time i'm seeing that go i, I like the idea that they have a pitcher on the mound for the nationals with an era of nine and an era of 7.94 on the mound for the Braves the total right now is at nine seeing the fact that these last two teams last two times these two teams played the total was 13 and the total is 20 I'm going to be leaning with the um over nine in this one I do like the Braves as well um I don't like the run line that much so I think we're probably going to be uh taking a peek maybe at the money line but minus 200 is going to be pretty tough to twist my arm to get there so our lean on this game is going to be the over nine there Next up, we have the Pirates taking on the Chicago Cubs. Pittsburgh at home, plus 110 on the money line. Um, Pittsburgh coming off of a loss to Chicago yesterday, a 1-2 loss, low scoring. Um, I do see these two teams, you know, in their last 10 games here. Um, Chicago's averaging six runs a game. Pittsburgh's averaging four runs a game. The total tonight is 8.5. I think that we could be looking at another per, uh, potential over. Um, Kyle Hendricks is on the mound for the Cubs, so it does kind of deter me just a little bit here here but um i do like the underdog pittsburgh in this one i know that chicago is a uh, better team i'm not i'm not a dummy in that sense but i like the fact that we can get some plus money on pittsburgh maybe just split the series uh here at, at as a as a 1-1 start to the series here um early in the year maybe later on in the year i think that the chicago cubs team gets their full momentum and gets rolling here but i am going to be leaning pittsburgh they're one in three to start the year i feel like at some point they got to just like say hey let's like let's win another game and this is the perfect time for them to do it. i know you guys probably think that that's such a I guess ignorant way of thinking of it but you got to think of how the beginning of the years matter here you know got teams are figuring it out there's no reason why the Cubs can't potentially figure it out um, or be figuring it out while the Pirates say okay let's win one four to three that type of thing so I'm gonna be leaning here I guess the over but then all Pittsburgh also Pittsburgh um, we were really really great with our money line or our money my our money line underdog leans yesterday so I do trust this one uh, I don't know if it makes a final play but I'm gonna lean Pittsburgh here plus 110 on the money line at home 
Nets up, Reds taking on the Guardians. I almost said it, the it, nope, not the it, the Guardians. The Guardians having a good season so far um, as the Guardians. They are three and two on the season. Um, <clears throat> and, and against the spread on the money line there, they are four and one. So they're playing really well. Again, you get a plus one and a half here, obviously with the run line, minus 160. I don't hate that here. My lean is actually going to be on the both here. I like the idea of the Guardians plus one and a half and the Reds on the money line. So I might be having a double play here. We're really looking for that tweener, but we're going to lean Reds here, minus 130 on the money line, and also the Guardians on the run line, minus 160. If I did have to pick one, I would go Reds here, minus 130. I think that the Reds bounce back um, from a 10-5 loss yesterday and get a dub tonight. Next, we have the Phillies taking on the Mets. Phillies 115, minus 115 here at home. The total is eight and a half. Scherzer on the mound for the Nets. Nola on the mound for the Phillies here. Both these teams playing um, or not really hitting the ball too, too well. Uh, so averaging very, very few runs in this. The Mets last three games here, two, four, and two. And then the Phillies, one, five, and zero. Um, these two teams have played twice already in this series. Philly catches uh, the, the win the first night. Four or five to four, and then the Mets bounce back last night, two to nothing. There, I'm gonna lean the home team, Philly. I think this is the type of series that goes bingo, bongo, bingo, bongo. So I'm gonna go with Philly uh, minus 115 here on the money line. That's gonna be my lean. It's another game where I could see this being a one-run game. The only thing is on the run line odds for the Mets, it's minus 175. So that really doesn't get the needle going too too much. But uh, we're gonna lean Philly here minus 115. Again, guys, make sure to keep an eye on the pin comment. That is where my final plays will be. Very important for you guys to check that out because we're just giving leans here. Our final plays, what we're actually going to be rolling with. Like last night, we only had those two plays. Those are what I'm actually rolling and risking tonight. Um, next up, we have the Tigers plus 105 at home against the Red Sox here. Avaldi on the mound against a former Red Sox, Eduardo Rodriguez on the mound for the Tigers. I have faith in Avaldi in this one. Obviously, this Red Sox end up, you know, getting that uh, Hill gets pulled early, I believe, yesterday. Whitlock comes in and pitches really, really well. They get a 5-3 to three win yesterday. Um, total for Boston's gone under in five of the last six games and 13 of their last 19 games for Detroit, the total's gone under. So I'm going to be looking at the under here. I don't love the fact that it's only an eight point under, so that's kind of deterring me, but we're going to be leaning the Red Sox on the money line here and then maybe a slight lean towards the under, just given the trends. All right, Twins plus 145 at home against the Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw's on the mound, and I'm going to be leaning Clayton Kershaw. These two teams played just yesterday, 7-2. to two. L.A. was hot with the bats there um, with the win in this one. Uh, I'm going to be leaning Clayton Kershaw and the L.A. Dodgers here on the money line. Minus 175. Don't totally love it. I might look at the run line, minus 1.5 for, for even odds, but I do like the money line more than that, but I just don't know if I end up making the play because of that tough uh, the tough odds there. Minus 175 really is uh, going to be tough to twist my arm, like I said about the previous game. Uh, next up, we have the Cardinals, minus 150 here against the Kansas City Royals. Cardinals getting the 6-5 to five win yesterday over Kansas City. Kansas City has not looked too, too great to start the year. They win two games. Oh, we're looking good, we're looking good. Then they lose three straight. And in fairly, you know, dramatic fashion, um, or I guess in, in multiple, in a variety of ways, I should say, 3-17, Thir to 7-10, and then 5-6 to six there last night. Granky's on the mound for the Royals. Adam Wainwright is getting the start for the cards here in terms of a trend we're looking at Kansas City's two and five straight up their last seven games one and six straight up in the last seven games against St. Louis St. Louis 11 and four straight up in the last 15 games at home and 15 and five in the last 20 games straight up we're going to be leaning St. Louis in this one minus 150 guys and before we get into the rest of the games I ask you guys please hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind we are on our way or trying to grind for that 10,000 mark and i can't thank you guys enough we're getting into mlb we're gonna get into other sports and everything like that i cannot thank you guys enough and if you do truly want to support the channel make sure you join the ballers guys come fly high with us join the ballers we got a bunch of ballers right now i know i have in, uh, in the nba video today i didn't get the shout out so i'll be fair and not give the name by name shout out of the ballers in the mlb video because you know i i i like the equally mlb and mlb video nba and mlb videos here but uh guys two dollars 99 cents a month you get a badge next to your name you get some custom emojis and also if you saw the nba video from yesterday we are starting to incorporate some video content from the ballers in there so make sure you guys check out that link it'll be in the pinned comment it's in the description if you are on desktop you can also click the join button two dollars 99 cents a month less than you know a, a starbucks coffee and you guys can truly show your support um we're up to almost 30 members here on the channel and i cannot thank you guys enough like 
people rag on me all the time for taking too much time in the video to say thank you. No, no, no. I'll say thank you all I want. So if you guys do want to check that out, make sure to click that link. $2.99 a month. Um, all right, let's jump into the latter half of the games here. We have the Diamondbacks, plus 135, taking on the Astros here. Kelly on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Valdez on the mound for the Astros. Um, these two teams playing last night, 2-1. to one. Houston win. Honestly, I kind of thought that that game was going to be a little bit more high scoring. Houston coming off of a win um, to L.A. and then taking that win last night to Arizona. Arizona not looking great to start the year. They get one win and then lose four straight, and I do see a little bit of a trend here. We're going to be leaning Houston here, minus 160. Houston's 4-1 and one straight up their last five games, 5-1 and one in their last six against Arizona. We're going to be leaning Houston here, minus 160 on the money line. Next up, the Giants, minus 135 at home, taking on the Padres. Last night, these two teams played. San Francisco took it to the Padres. The Giants took it to the Dads. San Francisco, 13-2. to two. Um, San Diego, the under has gone. The under is hitting six of their last nine games. They're four and one straight up in the last five games. Well, that one would be that loss to San Francisco. San Francisco here, 13-6 and six straight up in the last 19 games. Um, the under has hit in four of their last six as well. Because these two teams just went off, or I guess I should say one team went off. They had a total of 15 last night. The under is seven and a half. It's it's a, it's a pretty low number, but I'm going to lean the under and San Francisco in this game. Uh, San Diego, excuse me, taking the underdog here on the road. San Diego. I get San Francisco and San Diego very much confused. We're going to be leaning the Padres, the fathers here, plus 115 on the money line on the road. And we might even look at the under, even though it's seven and a half. Next up, we have the Rays hosting the A's. Rays hosting the A's. What do you say? Let's get into it, huh? Well, let's have a day. I deserve that. I deserve both the drum snare there and the uh, and the womp womp. But they got the Rays here, minus 180 on the money line against the A's. Um, this A's team, you know, the first night out, they surprised us when, in the series. They ended up beating the Rays. And even last night, 8-9 to nine loss. They stuck with them. I think I'm going to be leaning the A's on the run line here. Minus 135 odds, plus 1.5. Obviously, if you don't know what the run line is, um, it's a spread. I don't love the money line for either of these teams. Oakland's plus 165, and then Tampa Bay's 180. Neither one of those numbers um, in terms of odds gets me going there. So I'm going to lean Oakland here plus one and a half minus 135 against this Rays team. They've kept with them. They stuck with them. So I'm going to keep leaning them. Next up, Orioles plus 155 at home against the Brewers here. We were spot on with how this game was going to go last night. Milwaukee obviously catching that L to uh, Baltimore the first night of the series here. But Milwaukee now comes back and uh, gets a win last night. 5 to four here they won the hit battle two nine to seven um and they didn't even win the strikeout battle which is very very interesting but we'll lean milwaukee here on the run line minus one and a half here at 110 odds um all right last second to last game of the night we have the yankees minus 150 at home against the jays garrett cole is pitching for the yankees i do like that obviously he's a good pitcher uh 4-0 win yesterday for the yankees um the yankees are 12 and 6 straight up in the last 18 games and the total in these two teams have gone under and six of the last nine games, four nothing the first night, and then three nothing the second night of the series. So we're gonna take a peek at that under at eight and a half here. I think Garrett Cole and Barrios can hopefully hold these bats down. Um, but we're gonna lean Yankees here on the money line, and then also we're gonna take a peek at that under. All right, last game of the night here. We got the White Sox minus 105 against the Mariners. White Sox was the ride of the day last night. They get the three to two win. They're um they are 10 and 5 straight up in the last 15 games, and they're 6 and 2 straight up in the last 8 games at home. We're going to keep leaning the White Sox here. I do like this Mariners team at some point in the season. I'll tell you guys that for whatever reason, I feel like they could kind of be a team that sort of uh, gets decent odds and upsets some people, but we're going to be leaning here um, the White Sox, who actually are the plus one and a half here on the run line at minus 160, but I think we're going to take a money line there, minus 105, as they are truly underdogs in this game. So Keiko's on the mound for them, Ray is on the mound for the Mariners, but that's going to wrap it up for the predictions portion of the video, guys. Again, I want to give one last shout out to the Ballers. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. If you guys do want to, um, you know, support, make sure to click that link and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and then as always, we'll give one last shout out here to Markel and the ride of the day. Use hashtag ride of the day in the comments if you guys do want us to ride with one of your plays but until tomorrow guys i'll catch you guys hopefully we stay hot in the mlb again a little baby sweep but a sweep nonetheless i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out